Hello and welcome to the Cleaning and Contamination Defect Guide. My name is Bob Willis. These videos are designed to complement the printed defect guide. And you can download a copy of this online at the Global SMT website. This time, let's consider de-wetting. Now, de-wetting as a process issue is quite often associated with conformal coating. And if a coating won't wet to a surface, it's said to have de-wetted. Now, the de-wetting can be seen on the surface components where perhaps some form of molding release compound is still present or some other contamination is present, not allowing the coating to form. In that particular case, really cleaning is the only option to provide 100% coating. If it's on the surface of the solder resist, it may be compatibility of the material, uh, that's the resist, with the coating you're going to be using. One of the key things is you should never allow a PCB manufacturer to change the coating that you specified, this is the solder resist, or allow your purchasing staff to buy from another supplier unless you've qualified that coating to make sure you're not get, getting de-wetting. This video clip shows an example of de-wetting, first of all, on a copper substrate. It's a simple way of looking at wetting characteristics on a surface and we refer to it as the water break test. This example shows perfect wetting on a copper sheet because the water that's being applied is staying put and is not separating out and de-wetting from the surface. So de-wetting needs to be understood but also you need to make sure the materials that you're going to be using are compatible 